Hey guys, happy celebration. Give <laughs> some time to get in here. Oh, I know. It's been a crazy schedule of lives. I was live Sunday, and now I'm live. What is the day even? Tuesday, Tuesday night? Not following my schedule very well. <laughs> it's celebration. Isn't this exciting? When was the last time we had celebration? In August. Um, just crazy busy day. So much fun. Hey, Samantha. We wrapped up registration for the sampler celebration. The projects are awesome for that this time. This catalog is amazing. It's easy to do amazing things with such a good holiday catalog. And Camp Wanna Stamp registration is open. So if you have been waiting for that, Camp Wanna Stamp registration is open. Yes! <laughs> Happy celebration, Kathy. Hey, Melanie. Hey, Barbara, I'm glad you're here. I am just so excited. Julie, hey! All right, so if you need Camp on the Stamp registration links, email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com or if you're an email subscriber, check your email. I sent them out at about a little after three today. <laughs> Teresa's trying to watch me end Olympic gymnastics. I didn't realize I was competing with Olympic gymnastics. That's a tough one. That's a tall order. Oh, man. I haven't been watching much of the Olympics this year. I've been working really hard. Hey, Ethel, I'm glad you're here. Hi, Jean. Hey, Sally. Sally says, so excited. Me too. I can't even stand it. All right, so I just wanted to take a quick little bit of your evening. I don't want to take too long, but let me show you what we're going to make. Are you ready? We're going to make this. It's just a simple little card. It says, you heard, get the pun, you heard it here first. Heard it here first. Is that not so cute? You're one in a million. You're one in a million. Isn't oh, that just the cutest thing you ever saw? So this is the card we're gonna make. Features the counting sheep stamp set. This is a freebie for celebration. Hey Beth! And the sheep dies. This is also a freebie. I love this bundle because in past celebration Stampin' Up! has done $50 you get the stamp set for free and you buy $100 you get the die set for free this time they really cut us a break with a cute stamp set for $50 with you, when you buy the you, uh, $50 more you can get the dies so $100 gets you this bundle for free during celebration which I think is so awesome you got dies to cut out the three sheep but you also get the ground, a balloon, a pennant, a party hat, this awesome gate, sun, the little cloud that we're using. So really cute celebration stuff. And this is the card that we're making. <laughs> Barbara says, I like the pun. Thank you. I am so, if you if you know me, I love all things punny. And um, let's see, we're going to go with just real honesty. This um counting sheep i like the sheep they remind me of the donkeys and the my favorite the goats i really was excited to see them but i have to say that stampin up didn't really give us much in the sentiment department to make you see why you need the sheeps so um myself and a couple of friends we took matters into our own hands and um you heard it here first I have to give most most all credit to my friend Rhonda and my um, Kitchenette team member Nanki. We decided to put together a principle for you. So here it is. I'm just going to flesh it really, really quick. But there is a principle, Celebration Sheet Puns, on the Kitchen Table Stamper website now. Okay, so here's the puns. They're yours for free if you're a Kitchen Table Stamper customer and you purchase and earn the sheep, the counting sheep, and the sheep dies for free. So if you place an order, $100, and you get these items for free, I'm gonna send you the principle that you just saw, okay? So the principle is one sheet of puns, fun ones like, I'm sorry you had a bad day, and of course you is E-W-E, and will you be my Valentine? And you heard it here first. 
you're one in a million. So it's printable. You can print it in your choice of black, basic gray, granny apple green, real red or balmy blue. So there's, it's five sheets. They're all the same puns. Let me show you that. They're all the same puns, but you can print it in your choice of color. Okay. So that's the printable and it's yours for free when you are a kitchen table stamper customer who places an order of a hundred dollars and gets this bundle. All right. So that's the first way that you can get it. All right. <laughs> Melly says, you are great, Marissa, with the EWE. Now, I know that there are so many who are already demonstrators, already have the bundles, so I did put it in the kitchen table stamper store. It is just $1.99. So if you don't have an order for me, that's okay, because the puns are really awesome, and you're going to want them anyway. <laughs> and they're in the kitchen table stamper store. So just go to the store, kitchentablestamper.com slash shop. And then on the right-hand side where it says product filter, change the product filter to printable and it'll be right there for you to pick up <laughs> even this evening if you want. <laughs> Isn't that just the cutest thing you ever saw? All right, so let's start out with the, um, our little printable here. I'm gonna use the basic black one. I'm gonna just grab my little trimmer and we're gonna use, you heard it for here first, and then you're one in a million. So I'm just going to pop this in my trimmer and I'm going to cut it in half at four and a quarter. If you just zip it down the middle, then you can zip out your, you want to know my favorite pun? Okay, so like I said, this was Rhonda Sarver and Nike. Nike stylized them. Rhonda kind of wordsmithed them all and did the research. So it's not me. <laughs> Sally says you are brilliant with the EWE, but it was totally um it was a team effort and a labor of love and the brilliance is Rhonda the finesse the gorgeous type typography that's perfect with our sheep that was and and getting it to be a simple easy PDF printable that was all lanky my team rocks all right so I've got my you heard it here first and I'm gonna cut it out with this awesome die from these are the new let me show you. It's from this guy with uh, new labels. This is seasonal labels. So it's a long but kind of chunky label. And I'm just going to pop in my, but I want it high of center because we're going to cut a flat bottom and make it look like it's in a cloud. So I like that placement. Not in the middle top to bottom it's high of center and not in the middle right to left it's right of center so you have room for your bow okay and now I'm going to tape it down so it stays right where it's at and then I got a whole bunch of other fun puns that I can use on other cards like I'm wooly sorry <laughs> I'm wooly sorry oh my gosh brilliance right don't you think I have the best most brilliant friends <laughs> all right crank that guy out and then pop it aside. You can use lots of different dies and punches. We made sure we checked the sizes carefully. So there's my first sentiment. And then for the inside, I'm gonna do your one in a million, but I want to do that. Hold on, I'm gonna make this a little bit easier for myself. I'm gonna cut it out. I want to do that one with the little cloud die. Oh no, there's tape on the cloud die and I can't find the cloud die. It's probably taped to the back of something. Hold on. I'm looking for it. I might call in reinforcements. I'm checking my sleeves. You know when you leave the washi tape on the die and then it sticks to something and you don't know where you got it off to? All right, hold on. I'm calling in reinforcements. Somebody else can look while I keep die cutting. All right, I called in some reinforcements. So let's, while we've got our machine here, let's do a few other die cuts. I'm gonna catch up on the, <laughs> catch up on the comments too. <laughs> Shauna says, love the printable. Thanks ladies. Oh, it's my pleasure. And uh, let's see here. What Ann says, you always, you're always too good to us. Oh my goodness, I couldn't do it without the team. I've got a fabulous team. Uh-huh, found it. Thank you, Gideon. Uh -huh. All right, so. You are one in a million. We want to 
do this one so that it's centered in this label. Do you see this little label? It's like, um, I don't know. It's just really cute. It's kind of scallopy, top and bottom, a little bumpy. I want to see if I can get it a little high of center. I hope I didn't give myself a flat bottom. We'll see. If I did, then I did. <laughs> All right, let's see here. It's, it's the moment of truth. Is it round or is it flat on the bottom? Oh, it's a little flat. That's all right. I got scissors. And I'm just going to smooth it out a little bit. Do you guys ever do this kind of stuff? Oh my gosh, it's perfect in my other sample. All right, we're going to make it look less obvious by just trimming. <laughs> so die from the same set. Okay, said, no, that one is... The cutie little label is from the pillow box dies. And it's just got the coolest shape. It's kinda, it's stitchy. It's a cutie. I thought it worked with our clouds really well. All right, now, let me put this back over here. We're gonna do some cutting with the sheep dies. These are the ones that you can get for free. We've got soft suede and a fence. And we've got Daffodil Delight and a sun we're gonna do that guy and then i got some whisper white and a cloud let's see how much i can load in here i stole the little heart die from these little bird dies so this bird die set it's called birds and more i've been using that heart a lot i'm gonna pop that one on some flocked paper this is returning favorite let me get those a crank. I still have to do my grass edge, but I want a little more room to do that. So let's do that. <laughs> do they have names, the sheep? Oh, not yet. I say, I say though, everything should be named. So if you've got suggestions, get on the craft social and let's get these sheep named. You don't really love something if you don't name it. <laughs> Lisa says, late again, but happy to catch you live and share. Thank you for sharing, Lisa. I'm so excited that you're here. It's celebration time. Happy celebration. All right, look at the sun. Oh, is that just not so cute? And then the fence. Hold on, let me get that guy out of there. Let me give it a little push with my take your pick tool. It's got this gorgeous wood texture on it. Look at that fence, isn't that cute? Just these little extra pieces makes this die so much fun. You can now use these with your chickens, your donkeys, your goats. Love this die set. All right, we've got one more to do here. Got the edge. This is, um, Pear pizzazz. I used pear pizzazz this time. And we're going to cut this edge from the brand new edge dies. They're in the annual catalog. Here they are. These are basic borders. And we're going to use this kind of squiggly one. Squiggly is a very technical term. And I really want it to stay straight. I think I'm going to put a little tape on it. Okay. I think it's going to stay straight for me. The tape will help. All right. <laughs> hey Diana, I'm glad you're here. Deborah, thank you for sharing. That's the best compliment you can pay me. I love to stamp with your friends too. So thank you. All right. Border. And I'm just gonna leave it like this for just a second. I just cut right into the middle of the strip. Now the nice part is, is you can use this side and you can use this side. So make a couple of these cards. And I think that's it until I stamp my sheep. So let's move this guy out of the way. We're gonna have to bring it back after we do the sheep. But we can get him out of here for now. All right, so this is what we've accomplished so far, and you should see the mess that I've made. It's crazy. <laughs> I don't know why I'm such a sloppy stamper. All right, here's our greetings that we took out of the principal, and put the heart die before I lose it. I did one of these ahead of time so you guys didn't have to watch me do two. We've got two of the little fences. 
I've got a little scrap of Melon Mambo here. No, this one is Mango Melody. Did I call that right now? Mango Melody. <laughs> I got the Mango Melody here and a half inch circle punch. I'm just gonna punch myself a little circle for my son. Pop that aside, get my trimmer. And get that guy. Now, my designer series paper is from the Subtles. I went with the Balmy Blue and it's three and three quarters by five. So we wanna cut down our grass to five but we want to make sure that we kind of start it a little off the peak and then we'll turn it measured out to five inches. And before we cut, we'll make sure we like it there. I don't love it there, so I'm gonna slide it to the side. And then I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take from my piece here, I'm gonna take another quarter of an inch off this side. That way it, Make sure that's at five. Mm, still kind of right on the peak. Okay, now we're giving Barbie a haircut, but it doesn't matter as long as we end up with five inches of grass. All right, now I like that. I learned after I did the first one that I wanted it to start and stop at similar places. So then when I cut this one, you see now it kind of starts just off the peak this way and ends just off the peak this way, and I like that better. So little learn as you go kind of a thing. All right, so let's stamp our sheet before we start gluing our scene. Hey, Michelle, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Jackie says, I did see the mess you made. Jackie was here today helping get cutting done for the sampler celebration and <laughs> she knows all about the mess let me slide these guys over i've got my um follow me blue card base it's eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter and i'm gonna give it a crease and i need some white cardstock and my sheep memento tuxedo black and i got my funny little counting sheep let me get a scrap here. I had a scrap, but it wasn't quite big enough. Let's find something a little bigger. Ooh, I don't have a lot of big scraps, do I? Here we go. And side to the side. Gotta color him up. Stamp him and color him up. This is what I love about these little sheep, to be honest with you, is you don't have to do a lot of coloring. And the die cutting makes them fast to cut out. So these cards go together pretty quick that over. I want to give it one second to dry and I'm going to bring my little punny tag back in. I'm going to cut a quarter inch off the bottom of the tag so we look get almost a little flat cloud shape. So I'm just lining it up with a quarter inch even just on the middle of my trimmer here and hold it and cut it. And there's our little flat bottom cloud. <laughs> Is that one Barbara or Chuck? Is that <laughs> Barbara? <laughs> oh my gosh, you're hysterical, Ethel. <laughs> Barbara. Eunice. <laughs> See, I don't name anything. I just go along with what you guys put up because you're brilliant. Jackie, what do you think about Barbara? <laughs> <laughs> hi lisa it's becky and melanie oh no no you're saying hello to becky and melanie i got it i thought lisa was telling me that she was becky and melanie like everybody was all at one place or something <laughs> i totally misunderstood that hi lisa okay i can't find my dark crumb cake ah there we go and ivory that's all I'm gonna do for my little sheep I'm keeping it super simple let me bring them in here so you can see what I did I didn't well well I got a little tiny bit of light smoky slate too all right ivory for the face and of course you can do little black sheeps and you can do 
you can oh you can do a little gray sheeps whatever oh, a dark crumb cake I meant to grab light crumb cake this one's gonna turn out a little different than our first one because I meant to grab a light crumb cake that's okay we got different looking sheeps today pretty cute a little bit of for the artist put some shadow I'm gonna use light smoky slate and I'm just following the artist make our ship our little sheep look puffy I've been calling them sheps all day and I can't stop <laughs> I look up and I see Jackie says can we have a Bobby <laughs> Oh, you guys are the best. Eunice, Bobby, Bobby, and Barbara. <laughs> this is just the color lifter, and I'm just softening that gray. Make it look fluffy. I was about to grab my scissors and fussy cut, but there's no need to do that. We can bring in Stamper Cotton Emboss and a little sheep dye and cut it out. <laughs> Eunice, I love it. I really do. I think one of them's got to be Eunice and one of them's got to be Barbara. I like Bobby too. Can we agree on that? I think that, um, I think that we might have just named the sheep. Somebody's got to catch me up on the official names though. Can somebody post it on the craft social, maybe stamp them and write the names underneath? Because <laughs> they do, once they get named, like to be <laughs> called by their proper names. All right, here's our little sheep. Ta da! <laughs> this card is so, so simple. All right, let's take a look here really quick before I put it together. So, celebration has begun. Thank you all so much for your orders. If you have ordered $100 today from Kitchen Table Stamper um, from Marissa Alvarez at StampinUp.net, if you've ordered $100 from me and you got the Counting Sheep and the Sheep Dies as your gift, I will pop the printable sheep puns out to you. They're my gift. You can get them. They're all the same puns. Black, gray, green, blue, red and print them off. If you have an order during celebration, $100 and you get these items, they're cheap puns are my treat. If you do not have an order for me, maybe you're a demonstrator, you have a demonstrator, you don't live in the US and I can't sell Stampin' Up! stuff to you, then you can get the sheep puns at kitchentablestamper.com slash shop, okay? Let me pop this onto my card base little liquid glue I think maybe a lot of liquid glue there don't you hate when you're squeezing and then it just goes everywhere oh the dangers of this craft there's our background I decided to try the other side with the little plaid and see what we get <laughs> did you make up the sheep puns <laughs> hardly <laughs> um, that is if you're if you hang out with us on the craft social you know Rhonda Sarver she's one of the admins she is responsible for them she she um, kind of wordsmith that I know she did some googling and dug really deep and pulled them all together for us and then my um, kitchenette team member Nike you might know her from the craft social too she is a graphic designer so she put together um, did the fonts and um, arranged them so that they're beautiful printable so it was a it was a group effort and all I did was ask my friends pretty please will you loan your talents <laughs> so that's that's how that goes I I honestly thought okay can it be time for honesty while I glue down fences I loved the sheep and I thought how cute after the donkeys and the goats like we need the sheep but the sentiments were kind of lame and the sentiments I didn't think gave anybody a reason why they needed to have the sheep 
You know, it didn't give him any reason to buy it. But then Rana and I were sitting at the table because she comes around and helps me once in a while, um, mostly on like Wednesday mornings. And she and I were talking about, I'm like, see, I really love it, but I don't think that's, I think Stampin' Up! dropped the ball and giving people reason why they need the sheep stamps. And I said, I don't, I don't understand. With all the puns you could do, why would they do only you're amazing without using the EWE pun and so glad it's your birthday? Like those two sentiments don't say to me, that's why I need those sheep. And Rhonda says, I know, it should have said, oh sheep, it's past your birthday. And I said, see, that's what we need to do. We need to make our own puns and printable so that people understand why they need the counting sheep stamps out and the sheep dies. So that's how it started. And I said to her, how would you feel? Because she's got a really great way with words. Rhonda is um, spelling and vocabulary and the meaning of words. She loves words. She really does. And so I said, how would you feel about uh, trying to put together a little um, collection of sheep pumps? She's like, I am on it. And she did a fabulous job. And when she gave them to me, um, we were having a hard time getting them so that they looked good, printed, and you know, on a PDF where you could just, no matter what kind of operating system you have or what your, you know, technology situation is, you could just, oh, you know, double the PDF and print it. And so I asked my friend Nanki if she would spiff them up for us, and she did. So really, this is all I did was make the card. I have great friends. <laughs> Um, Chad said, I'm sure it was a cost item or a cost issue, especially since it's a free item. But the fence and the sun, oh, so cute, right? I think it's so, I think it's a, really an adorable bundle. All right, so sheep's got dimensionals. There's dimensional behind the, um, just the mango melody part of the sun. Got my, you heard it here first. And we're going to glue that one on. So it looks like a little flat bottom cloud. Leave enough room for our sun not to go past the fold. And then the sun. We're going to pop that little guy over here. So I figure it was. It was a free item from Stampin' Up! And it's a really, really cute free item. But with sentiments like these that Rhonda um, put together, I think it helps everybody to understand why they need the sheep too. <laughs> Because there's just so much you can do with it. Um, she's She came up with so many good ones. Uh, Sheer up, darling. I'll always be there for you. Or, Sheer up, darling. Everything will be all right. So it's got some inside, outside ones. Um, then, Sheer up, darling. I'm sorry you had a bad day. Or you can put, I'm sorry you had a bad day on the outside. And then hoping everything is sheep shape soon on the inside. Just, it was brilliant. She's a brilliant, brilliant woman. All right, so there's my second cloud. And some ribbon. I got my playful pets ribbon here. I'm going to tie a bow. Ah, sheepish grin. <laughs> Product says, hey there, you. <laughs> you guys are my people. Put out the puns. <laughs> All right, let's get a little bow here. I want it kind of loopy. Tony says, adorable card. Love the sheep. I already used them. Uh, they're too cute. And love the fence die. The fence die was one of my favorite parts because the goats and donkeys. The goats are my favorite. Then the donkeys. And these are perfect for those guys, too. So if those are items you already have in your collection, the goats and the donkeys, the sheep will be their friends. <laughs> I need a glue dot for my ribbon. I'm going to cut this away and put it on a little mini glue dot. <laughs> Kay says, precious card. Thank you. It's just a really simple little one. I couldn't let the first day of celebration go by without getting on the, the Facebooks and stamping with you guys. But you can really make a bunch of those. And it's a nice one to just say, I'm thinking of you. You heard it here first. And now inside, we're going to say you're one in a million. And um, Jackie and I were going round and round about where to put it. And I thought if I put it down here, 
then you can write your message and sign it over here. And Jackie said, I want it right in the middle so I can write my greeting up here and my um, just sign my name below it. So whatever you like. It's just a little, little greeting there. Look, at I covered up that I cut the die a little flat. <laughs> You're one in a million. <laughs> Ethel says, goat, donkey, sheep, and chick. Barnyard menagerie, right? They Stampin' Up! doesn't do it accidentally. You know that. They're crafty like fox. They're like, we gave them a donkey. Now they need sheep. Sheep's fences are going to be perfect with donkeys. They know. They know they want. They want us to collect. <laughs> so there it is. You guys like that? <laughs> you heard it here first. You're one in a million. All right, let me find my pin for my ribbon if I can. I don't see it. Oh well, I didn't want to knock it on the floor and step on it, but I can't find it. What do you guys think? Is that fun? Jackie says we need foxes, cute foxes too. I would like a line art fox. Remember we had the ones that were solid and you'd stamp them up and then use the punch? But I want a line art fox like that. That would be very good. I like foxes. All right, so what are your favorite celebration items? Let's talk about this. How about the bedazzling specialty paper? It's a big, chunky, like disco ball paper. Eva loves the celebration penguin paper. I agree. I keep, I kept calling it penguin pails all day long today, so now I can't remember what it is. <laughs> uh, Sue says, "Are you good? Are you going to share the pun PDF? The pun PDF is free for anybody who places a hundred dollar order during celebration at MarissaAlvarez.stampinups.net. I'll just send it to you." If you don't have an order for me, for whatever reason, maybe you're a demonstrator or you have a demonstrator that you love, or maybe you don't live in the U.S., it'll be in the Kitchen Table Stamper store. Marissa Alvarez, or no, I'm sorry, kitchentablestamper.com slash shop, and it's $1.99 to, for the printable. All right, so what else do you guys like? Jackie loves all the paper. Here's that Penguin Playmates. This is Ethel's favorite. The Penguin Playmates 12 by 12 DSP. It's free with a $50 order. Here's Feels Like Home. I love the sentiment in here. Uh, it says, your friendship feels like home to me. Isn't that cute? I finally added this one onto an order, and I, it was that sentiment that swayed me. Tony loves all the DSP in the catalogs this year. They're just One's just as nice as the other. The holiday catalog designer series paper. There's not one I. There's not one I don't like. I'm so glad I can share the inside of the catalog with you now. How about this beautifully penned 12 by 12? Is this anybody's favorite? It's not quite got the black and white feel because of the contrast. It's real filtered. I think this is one where you'll use it because it's just so versatile. And I've seen some great projects with this colored in. But yours free with a $50 order. <laughs> Kathy says that card is adorable. Thank you. <laughs> um, this one, Peaceful Prints. This, so much this, with the black gingham ribbon from the Halloween suite. This is free with a $50 order. And then some fun samples. I love this sample. You see that? Um, Ethel says she just got the hand penned and loves it. Add color is her is her tip. That's what I'm going to do with it before spring's over. And, of course, the stars of our show, the Counting Sheep stamp set is yours for free with a $50 order. The Sheep Dies is yours for free with an additional $50 order. So when you order 100 you get the bundle. It's not bad. Not bad. And then the textures and frames. I haven't used this one yet, but I love this idea where they did that little crosshatch in the background. Love the Dear DSP. Me too. I think that if I have to pick a favorite, it's that one. And I think I have, if I have to, well, I do love these guys too. I mean, they're, and then I love them enough that we made a printable sheep puns but I love this one because of the the versatility in it it can be very masculine with this buffalo check and this kind of flannel plaid and the birch trees 
these pine trees. It doesn't have to be super Christmassy. It can be just kind of cozy and masculine. Summer Shadows dies. These are so fun. I didn't think I needed them because I don't have the stamp set that coordinates with it. I don't know if you guys noticed, but it coordinates with the Shaded Summer stamp set from the annual catalog, page 75. And I don't have that stamp set. So that wasn't the draw for me, but Janet Casey from the Craft Social, she did her team swap card and just layered the flowers and then added a great greeting and used the Penguin Designer Series paper. So she pulled out the greens and purples. It was gorgeous. So those I'm starting to think I need. When Ann said just ordered those, uh, right? That they called my name. And then the Delicate Dahlias. This is just, I love that it's two-step stamping with the, um, uh, what do they call that thing where they do the shading, the distinctive? I like that. You don't have to color in all those little fussy petals, so that I'm really excited about. And I love, oh, so happy for you. Katie did an awesome card with that. So guess what? That one's going to go on in order soon, too. Those I didn't get either of these kind of flowery things at the end of the catalog. So what's your favorite? Shaded Summer Stamp Set. Love the sayings, so I bought it. I have to go look at the, set, the sayings again. Hmm. All right, so that's our card for tonight. I hope that you guys like it. I didn't cut the bottom of this greening flat, and I centered it in there. Don't tell anybody I cut the bottom flat. That was embarrassing. <laughs> if you guys need anything at all, reach out, email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. I am crazy busy with Camp Juana stamp registrations and um, getting the sandwich celebration ordered and stuff. So if you need me, email. If it takes me a little while to get back to you, please understand. And if I don't get back to you in a day or two, it's because somehow you got lost in the shuffle. I don't suspect that it'll be this crazy all week long, but um, it's, a, it's a crazy busy week. So just be persistent and, um, and reach out if you need anything. Marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Uh, let's see here. We are going to do mystery card on Thursday. So look out for clues tomorrow afternoon. And I'll be live again on Friday at noon. All right? <laughs> oh, you guys. Thanks for spending some time with me on your Tuesday night to shop and maybe earn some of these awesome celebration rewards, you can buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. If you've got questions about anything, reach out, check out kitchentablestamper.com slash shop, and then on the right-hand side, there's a little um, drop-down that says product filter. Click the product filter to printables, and then you'll see the sheep puns if you wanna get your hands on and play with, with your sheep, or place your order and get them for free. All right, you guys, good night, everybody. I'm going to go say hello to my husband. He's in there finishing up cooking dinner for us. We're both working really hard. <laughs> when Ann says, you don't want to miss out. <laughs> I love your puns, everybody. <laughs> Have a great night. Thanks for joining me. Bye, guys.